What's going on YouTube? Wesker Griff coming back with a mail day recap video. Also got two in-persons to show you. These in-persons are actually from the Phillies Reds game, which was actually a really long time ago. I, th I think it was about a month ago. I just never got around to showing them because, quite frankly, I forgot about them. Uh, but they're two really good signatures from two really good players. So the first one is from uh, Brandon Phillips who's probably going to be on the All-Star team this year. Really awesome uh, player and a really great uh, signer in person. I have gotten him before twice, uh, but I got him on a card again. Uh, next time I get him, I'm going to have to get him on a baseball because someone on one of the autograph forms told me that he always side panels baseball, but uh, when I got this signed, he signed a bunch of sweet spots, so I'm going to have to bring a baseball next time to get him. And then I was actually lucky that I was able to get uh, Todd Frazier, who's doing really, really well this year. And the funny thing is, he actually personalizes 8x10s, because two people got 8x10 signed, they both got personalized. And I don't think he personalizes baseballs, but he did not personalize this card. I know he signs TTM, but he also personalizes that as well. But either way, really happy to get Todd Frazier and Brandon Phillips, two really solid players uh, for the Cincinnati Reds. And then next, as you can see in the background, I got a care package from AS Mangus 97 We were trying to work out a trade. I was catching up on his videos. He did a big in-person sign-in down spring training because uh, his whole family went on vacation in Sarasota, Florida. And I was watching his recap videos, and one of the players that he got, he got a couple autographs of. And it was one of the few Orioles that I didn't have. Uh, it was L Luis Ayala. Uh, he was one of the few players that I actually didn't get. So I tried to work out a trade with him. But I didn't hear back from him in a couple days. And he just wind up uh, sending this to me. I, I saw the package, and I knew immediately what it was. But he sent me this really awesome Luis Ayala signed in person from 2012 tops so that was really really awesome thank you so much Aaron for just sending that my way uh, just because and then he also sent some base cards here of football uh, Ray Lewis Ed Reed uh, this nice Ray Rice insert uh, I think that's from Crown Royale a Pate Manning and then a Jerome Bettis but that was really, really cool. And then he wrote, he typed up this little note for me. He put, uh, Eddie, here's a hit back for the package you sent me a while back. I apologize for taking so long, but since you were interested in the Ayala, I thought I would send it to you and you would enjoy it. Please do not send anything back. I appreciate all you do in the community. God bless. Uh, with thanks, AS Mangus 97 uh, 101. So that's really cool. Thanks again, Aaron. I know you send the note not to hit you back, but I will definitely because that was really uh, out of the blue and really surprising. I really thank you uh, uh, for uh, that generosity and just set, and hooking me up with that for my PC because we both PC the same team. So sometimes that could get a little uh, difficult when making deals and stuff, but that was really cool, man. And I have some stuff that I'll send your way. So thank you very much. And then, like I said, I got a ton of eBay pickups uh, for my Sixers PC and for my Phillies PC. I'm going to show the Sixers cards first. I've got some pretty random stuff here, but this is out of Incredible uh, from Upper Deck, 1999. This is an autograph. I didn't even know they made an autograph of him, of Eric Snow, who was a big uh, part of the Sixers run back in uh, 2001 with AI when they lost to the Lakers in the finals, but Eric Snow was a really good role player for the Sixers for a long time. I think he played on a couple other teams. I think he also played on the Cleveland Cavaliers, but anyway, he's in broadcasting now. He did one year of broadcasting with the Sixers, and uh, he got let go because he actually fell asleep during one of the games that his head hit the mic, and uh, he got in a lot of trouble for that, as you can imagine. But really cool autograph there. So happy to add that to the Sixers PC. And then this next card was awesome because the eBay seller absolutely hooked it up. He sent this to me within two days. The guy lived in California. He sent it priority, which he didn't have to. And he also included a magnetic 
of this really beautiful uh, Maurice Cheeks out of uh, Panini Preferred 2012-2013. Beautiful blue autograph on a on card. And he put it in a magnetic too. It's number uh, 16 out of 74. And I bought this before he actually got uh, picked to be the Pistons coach. So all the best of luck uh, to Mo Cheeks. Definitely one of the coolest guys in basketball. Really cool. There's a cool video of him. Uh, should be on YouTube. Uh, some girl was struggling to sing the national anthem, and he came. He came over and helped her out. It's really cool. Uh, so check that out if you want to type that in. But Maurice Cheeks definitely one of my favorite Sixers, and uh, really happy the eBay seller absolutely hooked it up. So nice to get that. And then the next Sixer pickup I got here is actually a pretty random one as well. Um, I say it's random because this guy literally played 10 days for the Sixers. But this is out of past and present basketball from this year. It's actually an on-card, a sticker autograph of Jeremy Pargo. And Jeremy Pargo played about like 10 games for the Sixers. He was on one of those 10-day contracts after he got left go uh, from the Cavaliers. And he played about 10 games. Uh, each game he played about like at least under 5 minutes. And then the Sixers got rid of him, and then I think he got picked up by another team, got let go from them, and then got picked up by another team. Anyway, it's interesting to note that past and present made the card in his Sixers uniform because he played his majority of the, of the games with the Cavaliers. I think he played about like 30 to 40 games with the Cavs. So I'm pretty confused why they made a Sixers autograph of him. But either way, I saw it, I thought I'd pick it up. I only paid 99 cents for it. So... A 99 cents well spent and I heard he was actually really tough to get in person somebody told me that who grafts the Sixers said he hated signing so that was pretty cool to get an autograph for 99 cents especially of a extremely obscure player and then next like I said I got some Phillies pickups um, I got this for a pretty good price actually I think I paid like four dollars for it but this is out of tops career best uh, from 2009. This is a certified autograph of Raul Obanez. So happy to add an autograph of him. I really like this card too because it highlights uh, the Phillies uniform. I like the red look of the card because it matches the uh, Phillies uniform pretty cool. And that's the back. Believe it or not, last year when he went on that tear in the postseason, his autograph cards were pretty crazy on eBay. They were selling for about like 30 to 40 bucks. So I paid like I said, four dollars for this, so that was cool. But it's just crazy how the card prices can really fluctuate sometimes. And then the next, these are two more obscure player pickups. Uh, this is out of the Leaf '96 set. Uh, J.R. Phillips, who played one season with the Phillies, he was kind of like a really hyped prospect. I think he hit about like 35 to 40 homers in the minor leagues, and then he came up. Uh, for the Phillies and did absolutely nothing. I think he hit like about like 190 and only hit like, like two home runs and then the Phillies eventually got rid of him. But either way, that's really cool that they made an autograph card of him. And then the other autograph card is of Mike Williams, who was a relief pitcher for the Phillies, who actually got into an intense fight with Pedro Martinez, I think in like 95 or 96, where he was with the Expos. So pretty cool autograph there. I really like this Leaf 96 set because they have some autographs of some extremely obscure players. So if you're looking for hot, hard to find players and on like guys that don't really sign TTM, you can find some pretty obscure names on there. But either way, that's my pickups and those are my in person. So thanks to Aaron for that really cool care package. And thanks, guys, for watching. Please check out those two contest responses I made uh, for James and for Philly Man Cave. Philly Man Cave still has this contest going on, so please check that out. Uh, I think the video has about 60 views, yet he only has two video responses. So please get involved. It's a really cool contest. So thanks, guys, for watching. Take care and peace.